All right, guys. So every now and then, I I gotta bring my channel out of retirement to dunk on Luke because he's a clown and he's a charlatan. Um, but wow, uh, it so happens that he turned out to be right once, uh, once in the year and a half that he's been on YouTube. So not a great track record. That means that out of hundreds, if not thousands, of predictions that he's made, he's only been right once. That that's th those are not great odds, guys. Um, but he's been uh, he's been pumping the stock for a while. Um, GTII, this is a OTC stock, definitely not a fundamental play, but it did have a squeeze. So one of the questions you might be asking is why is he wrong so often? And the answer to that is that he he does no research on what he says. Most of the time, he makes stuff up on the spot, especially with AMC. Sometimes, and this is again sometimes. He'll read, he'll read some stuff on Reddit. He'll just look at Wall Street bets, regurg regurgitates some of the stuff that he reads there, or he'll just talk about what other YouTubers are already talking about, whatever's trending, whatever's a hot topic. So that's why he's wrong most, the vast majority of the time. And with this stock, you can see that it's squeezed, and he's trying to get more people into this. And all right, some people made money because if you bought this stock last week, right here, I'm looking at the 13th of September, you doubled, if not tripled your investment. But the problem is that if you're FOMOing it now, I mean, whenever a stock looks like this, the future is not very bright whenever it goes parabolic, at least in the short term. And also in the long term, because this is a bullshit stock. But if you buy it now, and he's still pumping it, if you buy the stock now, you're going to lose your ass, guaranteed. So he's still pumping it because with him, it's all about views, right? It's all about that ad revenue. And he finally got a little bit of traction after, I don't know, losing like 5,000 subscribers. People started seeing that he was actually a grifter and stopped following him. Now he's getting a little bit of that traction back because he's been right this one time. And this is not, again, because he's uh, he's very intelligent or because he does any research. It, it was just literally like anybody could be right once out of like a hundred or a thousand times. So stay away from this, guys. Um He's really kind of like fluffing himself over this. And I mean, he literally <laughs> thinks he's like a stock god right now, and which is pretty sad. But, um, and I'm not making this up. So let's take a look. I am a fucking god in this world. People love me. You know why? Because I love. And I don't think he was joking either. I mean, he he's that like sick in the head that he probably believes that. And. What I think he's going to do, he's going to keep pumping these uh, these penny stocks, IPOs, because he's so, I don't think he believes it himself. Like, he, he can't believe that he was right about something. So it's going to be his game plan for a while. Obviously, most of the, the IPO or penny stocks that he's going to be pumping are going to lose people a ton of money. And the other thing is, other theory is that he still does for now have uh, a decent amount of following. I mean, he lost a bunch of people, but he could potentially move some of these uh, some of these penny stocks like GTII. And what he can do is he can buy into them at a super low price, pump them on his channel, and then everybody buys in, everybody FOMOs in at higher prices, he dumps it. And then everybody's a bag holder. So that's how that works. And that's what I think he's going to keep doing. So if you go down this road of uh, trading penny stocks, you'll, well, you'll do two things. You'll, you'll make Lou more money by ad revenue and probably because he's pumping and dumping these. Um, and you'll lose a ton of your own money. At best, you'll break even at best. Um, because most of these predictions are going to be wrong. 
Now, my challenge to Lou, and I really, um, you don't have to be a genius to do this, guys. Uh, just, just buy actual, like, real company stocks. If you already have AMC, hold on to it. Um, you don't need to sell that. But there's so many other options out there, better options of stocks that you can buy. Um, if you just look at the last year, there's so many tech stocks that are trading at an insane discount. And I'm just showing an article here um, that just goes through a few of them. I can make a video on this, just going over them in more detail. But there's so many better and safer options to make money. Honestly, you can even be lose track record by putting your money in an index fund. An index fund makes almost nothing. So be smart. And um, I want to see where Lou's at a year from now. Um, I want to see where people who trade his penny stocks are a year from now. Um, and I guess I'll make an update video then. People who invest in, in these stocks and stocks that are trading at a discount are going to be a lot, lot wealthier. So that's it for today, guys. That's what I had to say. And uh, yeah, do yourself a favor if you don't want to lose all your money. Unsubscribe to Lou. I mean, uh, watch him if you want for, you know, entertainment purposes because he is he literally is a clown. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's my take on the whole GTII situation. Let me know what you think in the comments below.